okay now uh, we're gonna talk about guard pass I, for example I pass my opponent's guard and sometimes it's my opponent I close the gap and I don't have enough time to or angles to finish my opponent but uh, I have some good uh, position from the side control so let's say wind up in the side control here okay now what I'm gonna do here let's say I grab I will use my hand behind his neck. I want to make sure my thumb inside, my four fingers outside. Okay. Now I'll connect my shoulder right in his chest, and I change my angle this way. The reason that I do that is because I will open up the lapel. I want to be heavy on my opponent upper body. Okay. Once I open up the lapel, now I can start to uh, change the angle. I want to connect my hips on my opponent's hips. I want to be in this position. Like this. Okay, squirrel. That way, he uh, avoid him to uh, bring his knee inside, take over the gun. Okay. Now, if you guys see, like I control his upper body with my right hand, and I connect my hips on him against his hips. Okay. The reason that I do that is because I want to force him close to his end of my shoulder to start pushing me, and I'm still control the lapel. You're gonna start pushing me like this. You can use this hand on the, sh the inside shoulder or the foreside shoulder. I can do this technique uh, with both ways. If if his hand stay, if he's used the hand against my foreside shoulder, I can start to use. I can pass the lapel over the forearm. Now the inside the shoulder, I can do the same thing, and I grab like this. Okay. I control his arm. Once I pass the lapel over the forearm, I will trap his arm, and my hand. I will grab right on his uh, triceps and I will tuck his elbow inside. Okay? Now with my right leg, my outside leg, I will pinch my hands together and I slide my hand behind his arm like this. Okay? Now I control both, both of my opponent's arms. From here, it's time to apply my pressure. I will lean myself forward in that direction i want to take his back off the ground like this you see how i keep my right leg under his arm from here now i grab his wrist okay the knee that i have behind my opponent's back it's my left knee i will step over his arm okay i can lean forward and finish on the arm bar here or with the lapel, I can fall to my back, can grab the hips or the belt, and I finish on the arm bar here. Okay. One more time. Let's say in here, I trap up one's arm, go to the triceps, it's like the knee under the arm, and grab the wrist, step over. Finish on the arm bar here, or I can fall to my back, pinch the knees, and finish right there. Okay, uh, that's another option from the cycling show, and I uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoy and like.